Okay, some of you out there, you know, you're really um, mean. You're cruel yourselves. You are um, not nice. You are nemesis of Ted. Your enemies, your problems, you're against Ted. You just want to constantly keep arguing against Ted. You want to keep going against Ted. You want to find every reason or excuse to not believe in Ted and then convince other people to not believe in Ted. And um, Ted has been through undescribable for a human experiences um, for his entire first 37 years. Ted had a huge roller coaster life of ups and downs. He was constantly being destroyed just about the time things were going good for Ted. Satan and the demons took Ted apart. Those destroyed Ted. Those had the host crying and lamenting constantly for years because Ted did not know who he were. Legally it was arranged that Ted would not be able to know or understand who he was and that was also for security reasons. Therefore we did not tell Ted and Ted had a terrible life actually for the first 37 years including from humans that were um, in close personally including his marriage and a lot of that was not Ted's fault. That was from their sin and then those were possessed and then were um, going against Ted constantly taking Ted apart, destroying Ted, slandering Ted, defamation of character, the character assassination, some hazing, terrible things done to Ted because of their sin. These were possessed humans mostly that were just taking Ted apart. And it constantly happened. Ted has had a very rough life. After uh, the, the 40 days and 40 nights started, Ted was brain fried to the point where, where it really almost, you know, caused Ted to just want to sleep for days and weeks and just couldn't hardly move. Ted was in terrible shape for a while. And um, some, including the, the ex Kurtz family, did all kinds of things to Ted, including, you know, you can blame this squeaky chair on the ex Kurtz family because Ted had a couple of very expensive uh, steel frame chairs that don't squeak at all and um, were like $1,000 each and they ended up disappearing when they uh, committed Ted to an insane asylum for a year and Jeremy Howe moved and all of a sudden a bunch of things ended up missing again and more things were stolen and Bert, you know, just kind of blew it off and fell us and they weren't going to compensate Ted for anything and they didn't want to help Ted, they just wanted to be hostile against Ted for, for, for many years. And you can blame the squeaky chairs now in all these videos on the ex Kurtz family. And uh, Ted's been through a lot, and the hosts do blame. They do find people to blame, and they're constantly telling people, or Ted, Bob Spiritual, these are people you blame. And a lot of what you're seeing on the internet is God and the host just infuriated, basically, with what they're hearing about spiritually. And we're getting through to Ted, and Ted is doing some striking back and retaliation and fighting back and showing you some of your sin. You know, you want to accuse Ted and be an accuser, showing you some of your sin.